Hello there again everyone, this is Thus I Atone, recording commentary for this team deathmatch I had on Rust. And uh, it's been a while since I've posted a video, a full-fledged uh, video with commentary, so I figured you were due for one. So hopefully you enjoyed it, it's a fun match to watch. Uh, there's a slow part towards the middle of the match uh, where I die a few times in a row, so I went ahead and sped that one up for you. Uh, but for the most part, this match is very, very fun to watch. I get a lot of throwing knife kills, a lot of shield smash kills, and uh, enjoy. Uh, this match is actually kind of short, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this opportunity to update you on what my plans are um, for the videos I'm going to be posting. Um, first of all, uh, when it comes to uh, June, uh, starting the 9th all the way to the 20th, I will be out of town, so I actually will not be uh, posting any videos or playing any Modern Warfare 2 for that matter. Uh, so this will serve as kind of an update of what's going what's gonna to happen once I get back. Um, I do have a First Blood guide coming out very, very shortly. All I have to do is record the commentary for it, and then it will be up. Um, I've had a, good, a few good uh, quick clips that, uh, that I've posted recently, so if you haven't taken a look at those, check those out. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, this match uh, went really, really fast, and I'll tell you what, Rust... Let's talk about Rust for a little bit, because Rust was the last match, the last map out of all the old maps that I was able to find any kind of a strategy for. Um, and what I mean by that is that all the other maps I know what I'm going to do when I start. And Rust, for whatever reason, I just could not figure out. Couldn't figure out what to do. And so I thought, well, let's try the only thing I've never tried to do on any map before, which is use a riot shield. So I tried it out, fitted myself with stun grenades, throwing knives, and scavenger. Because that way, you stun them with a stun grenade they can't move so that makes them easier easier throwing knife targets and easier shield melee targets then scavenger basically gives you an unlimited supply of stun grenades and throwing knives and then you know the red perk that you use can be you know one of a few uh, you, my preference is either lightweight or hardline um, just because stopping power is pretty much a waste um, so I would use probably one of those two maybe cold blooded um, but Danger Close and Stopping Power are pretty useless on one of these classes unless you're going to use like C4 in place of the Throwing Knife. But I really prefer the Throwing Knife because sometimes, most of the time when you uh, when you approach an enemy with a Riot Shield, they just kind of stand there. They don't really know what to do. So it makes them an easy Throwing Knife target even if they're not stunned. But if you notice, I'm using a lot of stun grenades and it just slows them down way, way too much for them to be able to get away from a Throwing Knife or even a Riot Shield attack for that matter. Um, yeah, so that was basically what I was going to do, I was going to try it out. I think the first time I ever uh, used this setup on uh, on Rust, I was playing with one of my buddies named Blash, and he uh, he was quite surprised for me to yell out uh, not too long into the match that I actually had my Harrier. So, um, well, there's that match. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy what's to come for me. Um, in the meantime, rate my videos. Give me comments and requests, and subscribe to my channel. And there's a nice game-winning kill by Blash. And I'll talk to you later.